Hello everybody, welcome back to my story. Uh, I had an interesting one today. I was uh, going through some boxes a little while ago and stumbled upon an old letter. And along with this letter is a very interesting story. So back when I was in about sixth grade, I decided uh, through a school program that I wanted to get a pen pal and uh, they were doing overseas pen pals and so I was chosen um, I believe randomly uh, to uh, write back and forth with a girl that lived in Hong Kong. Now the cool thing about that was the year uh, <clears throat> The year that uh, we were chosen to write back and forth to each other was 1997. If you know anything about 1997 in Hong Kong, that is a big, big year. 1997 was the year the United Kingdom handed control of Hong Kong back to China. So it was a very, very interesting time in Hong Kong's history. Out of the interest of curiosity, um, Let's go ahead and read a little bit from the letter. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> just read a few selections and do a bit of paraphrasing here. So, um, so this is written by a girl named Karen Sao in Hong Kong in the year 19... Actually, this was uh, written to me on uh, January of uh, 1998. So... Uh, it would have been exactly this time of year and <clears throat> the year after the handover. And we had written back and forth several times at this point, uh, but this is one of the few letters that I actually was able to find. I don't even know why I still had it. I just uh, found it randomly in a drawer, or excuse me, in a box of old things. Uh, and incredibly interesting but she says I am in secondary school I'm a form 5 student I like reading playing computer eating shopping singing sleeping etc my birthday is on August 5th and I am two years older than you I'm 163 centimeters tall I have big eyes short black hair and black oh, she references her eyes twice and black eyes there's also speech, religion, and voting freedom in Hong Kong, which uh, Hong Kong to this day does have a slightly different uh, governing system in place, I believe, uh, specifically due to their uh, previous connection to the United Kingdom. And as a part of that agreement, I believe a slightly different system of local government was set up um, from what you would see on mainland China. And then she goes on to say she studies Chinese, English, mathematics, Chinese history, geography, world history, and economics. She says, how many pen pals do you have? And I would like to make a lot more pen pals myself. And then she goes on to say, happy new year, all the best, Karen Sao. A very typical letter written by a younger kid, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Uh, but what makes it interesting, um, you know, that was a very different world back then for both of us, uh, especially technologically. Um, and now we have so much connection over the internet and social media and, you know, Back then, as soon as this program was over and as soon as, uh, you know, both of our lives sort of moved on and we grew up, we um, ended up losing connection with each other and uh, like most uh, school pen pals, if any of you have been part of programs like that, you, you just probably, most of us uh, lose contact with them permanently. And uh, especially before the whole internet revolution, um, is very easy for someone to kind of be lost out in the ether you know they're out there somewhere you don't know where they've been you don't know where they are now but uh, you always have that memory but I thought to myself I found this old letter it has her name on it um, her old address on it and I know her age her birthday uh, and enough details that I thought you know what 
it might actually be possible to find her and contact her on social media and uh, see if she even remembers sending these letters to me so long ago uh, and uh, maybe uh, if I even got lucky enough, um, maybe she's somewhere in a box of old things has one of my letters saved. And so I thought that would kind of make an interesting series. Now there's a couple um, possible hang-ups. Um, back then it was really popular and I think in some cases it still is for to this very day for people uh, from that area uh, to choose a uh, English name uh, to use when a uh, when associating with uh, native English speakers to make it easier for them to pronounce uh, their name. Um, however, it being Hong Kong, like I uh, said, and uh, being previously under uh, the rule of the United Kingdom, it actually may be that her n first name really is Karen. And so uh, there may uh, be a really, really good chance at getting in contact with her and uh, who knows what'll happen. So what I'm gonna do now, and I'm gonna film the whole thing, I'm gonna end this video uh, right after this, uh, and then start filming again for part two. And I'm going to do the research. I'm going to uh, go online, see if I can locate this person who may be still living in Hong Kong named Karen, and maybe I can get in contact with her and possibly maybe she'll even appear in uh, one of these vlogs with me and uh, we'll see if we can do a little interview about maybe uh, what she remembers about writing back and forth with me if she has any of the letters and uh, how her life has changed since the year 1997 and now being over 20 years, two decades, under Chinese control. And uh, it would be a very interesting, interesting conversation. So I'm really hoping to have that. So stay tuned here. I'm gonna do the research, uh, find out uh, if it's even possible. If it's not possible, I'll get back to you here really soon and let you know. If it is possible, look for a really exciting episode coming up really soon. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully uh, do this research over the next few days, so I'm looking uh, to have an answer here within the next week or so. Obvious complications of uh, contacting someone across the world to get them to uh, do a video collaboration with such a vastly different uh, time zones could be a little bit difficult as well so I don't want to give an exact time frame quite yet but uh, know that uh, as soon as the camera stops I'm already uh, working on making this happen so here's hoping uh, thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and uh, if this is your first time here make sure you uh, check out my main channel 539 productions for some amazing adventure travel videos and uh, urban exploration and i will see you all on here tomorrow bye everyone